welcome to 2024. Hi guys. Um, we're going to start off 2024 with something very simple and only because I promised someone that I would do this video. Um, and it is very easy, but before I jump into it, um, I want to tell you what it's about. I was in the Let's Resin Facebook group the other day and a question came up about shakers and the question was how do you keep your shakers from coming apart after a period of time well as you guys know I've been doing this for years and I've never had a shaker come apart but I told her that I would do a video on this after I gave her my tip of course um, and then after I told her I would do a video, everybody's like, yes, please, yes, please, yes, please do a video. So this is going to be my first video of 2024. But before I get in to start making one, I want to show you guys some shakers that I've had sitting around in my craft room for a long, long time. And also to show you the types of shakers that are out there. I mean, I've got tons and tons of molds but um, there's like this type of shaker um, that comes with little molds of things that you know bits they call them shaker bits um, that you can pour resin into and you can put them in there or you can use them as embellishments on the outside of the thing and this was what I made with it and it's actually a two color. I did white um, at the bottom and then I put blue <clears throat> at the top. And then um, I made it into a keychain, as you can see. And then I had a little flat back that I used on there and the stuff inside. And then I put stickers on the outside of mine. So that's one type. And then there's this type that is the shape of a coffee cup. Now this type takes a uh, plastic acetate that you have to cut your, your shape out of. This type has its own and you pour resin into that and it makes its own topper. And that's what this looks like. Now this shaker is, I wanna say at least two years old and it's just been sitting around here and it comes I think with a pack of two and then it comes with these and then it also comes with two molds that has the coffee beans and the ice cubes and then also lemons of two different sizes and oranges so this is what that looks like and you can design that any way you want. So that's that's that type. And then there's this type, which is just plain Jane. And um, it requires an acetate cover. And that's how I made that one. I did it also a two color, a clear with uh, glitter in it. And then after I filled it, I used a flat back on top of it and sealed it. So there's all kinds of options. This one also plain, you have to use acetate. And I designed it as a Pikachu. Now the inside thing on that, I cut that out of a piece of paper and then I just covered it with UV resin and on both sides. And this thing is probably two years old as well. Um, and it's still in there and has not changed. Nothing has happened to that. Um, this one, snow globe, also plain. You have to use the acetate. I made this one at Christmas. Um, I used chunky glitter on the outside of it to put on there and then covered it with UV resin. So that's that. And then here's another one that requires its own top and 
they're really simple to make and that's what this one looks like and again two years old probably and still looks like it did the day I made it so that's those are the types of shakers and there's all kinds of them out there um, I think I own just about every shaker mold out there because when I first started eight years ago that's what I did that's how I, how I learned I it's all I did was make shakers shaker shaker shakers and keychains and so um, and then I you know went up from there and I was going to tell you um, whenever I had extra resin left over from these I always kept two of these molds next to me and I would pour that extra resin into these molds and look at all these hearts that I've made over the years and they're great for using for embellishments and we're going to use one today on this so um, I just keep them in a little plastic I think I have like two or three drawers of these and that's I mean they come in handy they're just little tiny you know little tiny hearts and you can use them for just about anything you the really tiny ones will go, work great inside these and you just never know when you can use a heart right so that being said um, I don't want this to be a horrifically long video so basically um, today I'm just going to use uh, UV resin to make this um, because if we don't I'm going to have to pour then it's going to have to sit overnight and then I'm going to have to come back and so um, we're just going to use UV resin today so I'm going to make this a Valentine's Day heart since this is Valentine's and or it's coming up on Valentine's I guess you should say so I'm gonna pour some um, UV resin in here gonna need quite a bit for this to fill that and I'm only gonna fill it up to the top of that this because I'm gonna do two colors so let's start with that much and this is the color I'm going to use because it's really the, I mean, unless I get into some real big chunky stuff, which I don't want. Chunky and UV resin tend to not mix very well, I've noticed. So we'll start there. I'm just going to mix this up. I don't know if it's because the chunky resin is so chunky that it's hard for the light to get through through it. I don't know what the deal is, but I try to stay away from chunky resin, the real chunky resin with UV. It's just, I've just not had any luck with it. The fine glitter, don't have any issues with it. It's just the chunky. All right, so my mold's already clean. I cleaned it before we started. Let me get some paper towel here. <clears throat> and we will pour this in here. I'm only going to pour it up to the top of this little thing right here. I'm just going to do one layer at first and then we'll come back and do a second since we're doing UV resin. I'll run my. Make sure we don't have any bubbles. And in a normal instance, I would be using regular silicone and filling it and then letting it set overnight. 
and we'll get that in there and then while we're doing that I'm gonna let see what we can use on the inside of that I thought about going the teal and the pink route so I like those two colors plus my confetti or my inside stuff is kind of teal and pink and red so and to show you what you can put in them I mean your choices are endless I mean you've got um, plastic embellishments um, you can put gold things in there silver things copper things uh, rose gold things I've got all kinds of things um, these are half circles um, bow ties stars and these are letters that I also made with a letter mold I just made a bunch of those in case you wanted to make a shaker for someone specific and you could put their initial on it um, same thing here um, these are hearts uh, bow ties um, these over here are hearts they're cute and then these I use a lot they're little plastic beads Got a black one in there with the purple um, I use these a lot because they work great in in shakers because they tend to float really easy um, and then of course you know there's all kinds of little uh, embellishments I mean not embellishments but uh, little confetti type things you can put inside of them um, you can use glitter I've got glitter inside of some of these um, let's see glitter the balls I mean I've got all kinds of stuff it's just tons of stuff that uh, you can put in them just trying to think um, you can put these little things in there they're little crystally looking things those are pretty too um, you can put um, glass rocks beads um, gosh I mean just anything you can put anything in there just as long as it's small enough to go in there to clear the space for the acetate to lay on on top and these are really cute these are called flat backs as you can see there's all kinds of little I've got tons of these too um, they come in these big packages and like this one is the pink and it's candies you know which come in handy around Valentine's Day there's cake and cookies and donuts and M&Ms and gummy bears and just all kinds of little things in there that you can use on things if you want to really dress dress something up bunnies looks like there's some french fries in there <laughs> cookies you name it milk it's all it's just crazy what they have in flat backs flat backs are fun All right, that's blow this off a little bit, cool it down so it doesn't bubble up on me. You don't want to pour this UV resin on top of this when it's still hot. Let's cool off a little bit. So did everybody have a good New Year's? Hopefully everybody was safe. I didn't do much. I stayed home. I tend to not go out where all the crazy people are. Okay. Now we're going to go in and just finish this last layer right on top of here up to that top.
just like that. Go in, cure that. And then, got a little left over. So what I think I'll do is I'll pour it in these little, always have an extra mold laying around so you can pour extras into something. Can never have too many hearts. Never, ever, ever. Or Mickey heads. <laughs> Oh yeah, something else I was going to tell you too, is things that you can use um, for shakers, and that is buttons. I don't know if any of you have been to Joann's um, ever and went to their button section, but let me tell you, they have some of the cutest figure buttons. Um, I buy a lot of them because like I said, I've used them um, for embellishments on my shakers um, or really anything. Just a second, let me pour this in here and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, at Christmas time, I always go and see what they have new, but these are buttons. I love these. And when you use them, all you have to do is just cut off that little loop thing on the back, and they become a flat back. Aren't they cute? And you can use them as decoration for anything. I have lots of them. I have all of the Disney ones that they have. I'm going to flip this over, cure it for another two minutes. Oh, where did that come from? Um, you can use them on coasters, in coasters, I mean, just anything. So if you're ever looking for something just to dress something up, try that. Because that's what I did with these. I used a flat back on this one. When I first started, you know, resin, I didn't have all these wonderful ideas. And then um, when I would go out, you know, to the craft stores, I'd start seeing all this stuff and I'd be going, oh, I could do this, I could do that, you know, and then I started buying these things and I started experimenting with them and it's fun. And that's how you get to find your creativity is by experimenting and that's what I did because my resin creations are all self-taught and it's all by experimentation. I've done it all on my own. Okay, so for the next thing to do the, the back, I'm going to use some clear and we're going to put a little glitter, like uh, my alcohol rainbow marabou ink. Just because I like to give the back just a little bit of shimmer. So that it's not completely transparent. And then we'll 
just pour that right on top of there. Like I said, I would normally do this with silicone, but for your purposes, I just wanted to show you this very quickly. Otherwise, it could turn into a tremendously long video. And I just want to show you what I do before I put that acetate on there. And once I show you, you're going to go, oh, well, that makes sense. And you don't want to fill this clear over the edge of the mold because then you're going to have overspill and you don't want that. You just want it to be right up to that edge. Just like that. And I just want to pop some bubbles. So I can see a couple. Don't want anything too dramatic. And put that in there. Three minutes. I think these are cured, but I'm going to cure them upside down just to make sure. I'll clean out my little cups here while that's working. Something very super, super simple. Now for my upcoming videos, um, it's probably going to be mostly Valentine's themed because, you know, we can't forget Lover's Holiday. I'm not a big Valentine's Day fan myself because I think that holiday is hugely overrated. Not that I don't believe in love, but I just think that that holiday is just super overrated based on what gets spent on that holiday. <laughs> when me and my husband got married over 30 years ago, he used to send me a dozen roses every Valentine's Day. And of course, you know, he knew the person at the flower store and she would always just bill it to us. And when I had to write pay that bill every month and seeing what it cost for those dozen roses, I said, dude, stop sending me roses. That's ridiculous. I said, save your money. Because they're just going to die. I mean, I know that sounds rude, but seriously. I don't know how you guys feel about Valentine's Day, but it's just ridiculous. And you know, and after you've been married for 30 years, kiss and a hug, that's good enough for me. I don't need him to spend $100 on flowers <laughs> to, tell, to show me that. But that's just me. That's just me. A little Mickey Mouse, a little heart, and I think that's a Hawaiian flower, but I'm not sure. Put those over here with my save things. 
sure this is. Yep. This is still a little hot. have it. Isn't that cute? Got a little overspill right there, nothing major. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is figure out what we're going to put inside of it. And since I said we were going to go with the teal and the pink, I think we'll use some of these little thingies in there. And boy, do I need to put my glasses on because I can't see. These are tiny. All right. Get my tweezers out here. Get some love going on in here. Some love, love, love. some different colors of pink since there's multiple colors in here. Love, love, love. Alright, there's that one. Let's see what's in here. And these all just came from Hobby Lobby. Put a couple love letters in there. We'll go put some white ones in there. And then we'll put some of these in there. pink ones in there. That's a lot of love. Do you think that little heart can handle all that love? Alright. Here's that. And for these we'll put a few of these, whoops, a few of those, whoa, sticking to my spoon, static, and put a few white ones in there, I don't have any teal ones in here, so We'll just go with those. And then out of here, I think. Oh, it's like, what did I do with my tweezers? I think there's some teal hearts. There's a teal one. And a pink one. And then, get out there, we'll put one of these in there, and we'll put one of those in there, and that should be enough for that, yeah, and I might go and see if I have any Maybe just a little, whoa, a little bit of glitter. That's too purple. Um, how about this color? Is that 
purple color is this? Plum. Hmm. Oh, I got it. <gasps> Pink! Just a smidge, not very much. Okay, so let's cut out our little heart so you can see how I do that. Basically, I just lay, I get a pin. You guys are still with me, right? Thank goodness. I just lay this on top, just like that. Get my pin. draw around. My acetate has film on both sides and you can get the acetate on Amazon. in like packs of two or three hundred or something like that. It's not very expensive at all. And then we will just cut it out. And it doesn't matter if you cut on the line or outside the line, just as long as it's as close to the design as possible. Oof, come on. Scissors cooperate. I bought some little tiny scissors for this. You think I would just go get them, but. <laughs> okay. And then I just take some alcohol. And just wipe that off. Okay. Now. This is where the secret comes in. I'm going to lay this on top of here. If you were using regular resin, sometimes UV resin has a hard time bonding with um, regular resin, especially if you're not using the both types that are the same. So what I do is, and I do this on every shaker, every single shaker, did it on those and I still do it. I take a fingernail file and I just rough this edge up right here. Take all the shiny off of it. And what that does is it gives a rough surface for bonding. And it doesn't matter how hard you um, scratch it up because you're not going to see it. Once you put the UV resin on there and then, because look you can't even tell that I did that on any of these and I've roughed all those surfaces up so 
go to town. Mark it up. Makes a big, big difference. Just take all that shiny off of there. Just like that. And then just take some alcohol after you get that done and just wipe it off. Normally I do this before I put my stuff in there, but for some reason I was not thinking. Just like that, just wipe it all off. Really good. And then we're gonna peel off this plastic. like that. Set that aside for a second. And I'm going to put a little bit of UV resin in here because I don't like to pour it out of the bottle because it comes out too fast. And then I use a micro brush that has nothing on it. sticking to me and then I go around the edge of this with this and I get it as close to that inner edge as I can because that is where it needs to seal and whatever you do do not get resin in that little crevice right there because that is your fill hole I've done it <laughs> lots of times on accident and what you end up having to do is just leave it and then you end up drilling a hole in the top of your your uh, acetate and filling from the top which it's not that big of a deal because some of the uh, shaker molds don't come with a um, filler hole so you have to do that anyway and some people prefer not to do it that way because you fill that in and then you don't have to worry about it having a spot right there and you can fill it from the top and you never even see it so some people prefer it that way but for me it's there might as well use it And you don't want to glob this on here because um, you don't want it running inside and you don't want it running outside. Just want enough on there to seal it and pick this up. Well, here, let me stick this on here first. And I have to use my tweezers to get it on there just right. Move it where it needs to be and press it down. My hands are so shaky tonight. It's not I had enough caffeine today. <laughs> it's my philosophy. I'm going to secure this with this for a sec so I can pick it up. I don't like my hands sticking to it. I don't want that resin pouring over into that reservoir if it does. It looks like a pretty good bond there. Something right there. Alright. It's good enough to pick up now. Stick it under there.
And then all we have left to do is top coat it and embellishment if we want to embellish it, which I think I might. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But I wonder if I have a smaller one in there. Oh, that cover. Let me look. Got lots of them in here. Oh, that one's cute. Let's see if I have a pink one. I can't imagine I don't have a pink one in here. Oh, there's a pink one. Or is that purple? I'm just color blind. Tiny one. I think my other drawer has all big ones. Little pink gummy bear. Put a little pink gummy bear on there. See, we could do like a little gummy bear right here, and then put like a little teal, little heart on there, like we did on that one. Like that or something. I don't know. We'll see what we can do here, or we can just do the the pink and the teal little heart. My fingers have so much static. I don't know. I kind of like that gummy bear. Okay. Water. Water, 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 water. Let's fill this baby up. And see if it's all sealed. We'll know if it is. Because it'll leak. Uh, is it sealed? I thought, nope, it's leaking. One momento. I had a feeling it was going to leak right there because it didn't look like it was pressed all the way down. All right. Got to make sure that thing is sealed all the way down because if it's not... And I didn't think it was right there. All right, I'm gonna get a dry paper towel. Oopsie. So I just need to put a little bit of. I can see it right there and right there. I didn't press it all the way down. Bad, bad girl.
It's easy fix. It's better to catch it now than later. I knew it was going to happen though, because I could tell it wasn't all the way down right there. I should have just not put water in it and just fixed it right away. Okay. Alright. Flash the light. Sorry guys. I was getting so excited about what needed to go on top I wasn't paying attention. This will fix it. This is also another reason why I don't cut my plastic to go clear out to the edge. I leave it short because that way you have room if you need to fix something. And that is also another um, thing too is if you don't cut your plastic to go all the way out to the edge there's probably a high probability it's not going to come off. Okay. Now we should be golden. Take a look at it here in the light. Yeah. Everything's sealed now. filled up there. Okay. And we just need to wipe off the edge. And then I'm going to take a drop of this resin and I'm going to drop it right so you guys can see this right in there. until it's full. Just like that. Perfect. And then we'll cure it. Okay, takes care of that. All right, let's get this top coat on here.
And you want to make sure you take this clear out to the edge, just like you would if you were doming anything else. Because that's what's going to seal it off. have to use the tweezers for this because if I don't I'll drop it You can make these into keychains, but um, if you don't have a very deep section, you know, to put them on, it's really difficult to drill into them. Stick this under the light. minutes um, because like on this one here when I did it I was so close to going into the water part of it because they just don't have a very uh, thick surface to drill into and you got to be proficient at drilling or you'll drill a hole right through it have I done it yes I have <laughs> And it comes squirting out of there. It's no fun. Okay guys, when that gets done, that'll be the end of our little project today. So for upcoming videos, like I said, it's gonna be really uh, geared towards Valentine's Day. I've got quite a few things um, planned. I have a new product I need to demonstrate for Let's Resin. Um, so I got a couple ideas for that and yep Let's Resin has a new product in case you didn't know. I can't believe I haven't seen any videos on Facebook about it. amazes me. I don't know if people just haven't had time or 
what? That I will be demonstrating that product coming up. Quite excited about it. All right. And there she is. Pretty cute. Little cute little shaker. So that's how it works, guys. Very simple, easy to do. And if you just see, you can't even see where I roughed up that surface to get that um, to attach to that. But that's how I do it, and that's how I do mine. And I've had all these here for a couple years, and they've never, ever broken. So that's my tip. Well, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope I helped in some way um, to get you to be able to make your shakers last longer. Um, I'm more than willing to help. Just send me a message on my or leave a comment. I'll be happy to help you um, in any way that I can. I've been making them for years. Um, so, with that being said, thanks for coming in and watching this little tutorial. Um, ended up being a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be a quick little video, but no, I just keep running my mouth, talking, talking, talking. <laughs> All right, guys, it's been nice um, chatting with y'all, showing you this. Until the next video. Thanks, guys. Good night.